today on General Hospital. This is what happened. Today's another good episode and another very sad one. People who love Curtis Farron for a big ride uh, for today's update. If you didn't watch today's update or watch the show today. Yeah, I did a craft, so if I show this, don't don't mind it. Sasha's in a very dark place in her life because of Gladys, her mother. I cannot, I really want Sonny to get on to Gladys and Dr. Montague for giving Sasha all these pills and making her go ding-dong in her head. So, Dr. Montague was with Sasha in one of the doctor uh, uh, hospital rooms, hospital bedrooms, and he wanted to record Sasha and record everything she said. And apparently she's, she, when she was going to stab Cody at the Metrocourt pool, which she saw Cyrus, and then she saw Cody when Maxie said, why would you do this to Cody? And, you know, like, and then Sasha still remembering Cyrus, so she can, like, really, like, get it in her head, get Cyrus in her head, because he used to give her pills, too. Sasha has a history of drugs and pills on this uh, general hospital thing. Uh, speaking of Sunny, Sunny, Diane, no, not Diane, Sunny, uh, Nina, Ava, and Austin still having that Metro Court dinner. And Austin's got to make a call, and I think it's Mason. We didn't hear much, but they were like, they were just talking. Uh, and then when Sunny and Nina leave because they want to go help Sasha, Gladys called him. Uh, Austin was like touching on Ava's leg and everything, and he just he really wants to get with Ava. And then Ava's like, uh, uh, I, uh, well, let's just do this as uh, as a reenactment. She pulls out a knife. She's like, get away from me, Austin. So yeah, uh, all all that stuff going on. Uh, then you know, Diane. She came in like a ball of fire when Dante, when uh, Doctor Montague uh, was uh, recording Sasha without her permission. Sorry, I, I forgot. I forgot to mention Diane coming in with this. She's like, "Get the H E double hockey sticks away from her! Stop going! Stop making her through so much pain!" And so Diane's like, "Sweetheart, I'm your attorney, and I'm gonna help you from this psychopath." Dr. Montague leaves, and he's kind of mad at Gladys because he's like, you told me I could get her pills, but I didn't know it was going to be this much pain, really. And Sonny, Nita, Diane, we're all waiting for an update on Sasha. She's going to the crazy house. I mean, I think she's going to whatever the crazy house is. Um, Curtis, Portia, TJ, here's the options. There's a doctor and a nurse in there. Curtis wants to know why he cannot feel his legs. And he's also trying to pinch the legs. Uh, try to get, try to see if he can feel it. He can't feel anything. This is where it gets kind of sad. So, Curtis, when the doctors and nurse leaves, TJ needs to go get an update. Portia's got to go check on TJ. TJ's like, and then Portia comes in. TJ, he looks sad. And Portia's like, don't tell me. The reason that they're about to cry and complain that Curtis, uh, yeah, you know, uh, something bad happens to Curtis. That's why I'm so worried to tell you guys. I seem enjoyable because I don't like Curtis. And he's finally going to get what he deserves. So the reason Curtis can't feel his legs is either... He can, he can either be paralyzed and can never walk again. He's going to have to use a wheelchair. Or he has like this type of like, I forgot its name, but like sort of like a disease. Or not, not a disease. It's just something, a process that is going to take around a month, a couple months for Curtis to walk again. And then after that, he's free to walk. Curtis is paralyzed. He cannot walk for the rest of his life, and everybody's disappointed. Joss and Dex like touching each other, and they are really getting into each other, you know? Uh, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then Dex has to go because when Sonny 
Before Sonny and Nina go, let's go back to that real quick. Sonny calls Dax, and he wants Dax to watch over Dr. Gallon Holt. Austin. Austin Gallon Holt. He, he's a doctor, so we just call him, you know. Um, and then Dex is watching uh, them. We saw the, uh, near the end of the episode that uh, when Austin and Ava were talking, I was like, why is Dex there? I forgot all about that Sonny called him. He was there at the bar. He was, like, not at the alcohol bar, but he was, like, at the top counter, you know. And he was listening and watching. And, okay, near... Another thing that happened near the end of the episode, Joss is laying down, relaxing, and somebody calls Joss. She's like, sure, I have food with wrestlers, by the way. Hello? Really? Somebody called Joss, and they're like, they're basically saying that uh, they have good news for Joss and the whole family. I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, but me and my mom heard that Carly has next week, like Monday through Friday, somewhere in that time of area, or that time, uh, Carly finds a way uh, to pay for the house. I'm not going to tell you, but she might not sell her house because something does happen, but I don't, I don't think it's a spoiler. Uh, we'll, we'll, we have to see. We have to see. Uh, yeah, Sasha in this whole situation. Curtis is paralyzed. Dex, Sonny wants Austin. Sonny wants Dex to watch over Austin. Sonny wants to know more about him just after he found out that Austin's working for somebody. And Ava knows, but Nita doesn't. Uh, Gladys needs to get her butt whooped. Uh, you know, all sorts of that stuff. And then Joss. And somebody uh, for next week. Last thing, if there's anything else I forgot, let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be gone for a few seconds. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, through these wrestlers are earlier. I'm so sorry about that. Last thing, time for my wrestling show and tell. We got Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Uh, they made mini figures. I'm just going to say it was back in the 90s. Really long time ago, it looks like. Then we have a Rowdy Rowdy Piper minifigure. It was made... Holy cow. Uh, then we have a Ric Flair figure. When was this? There's no way this, these were made back early. And then I just got this yesterday. A new MVP. A lot of people might know him. He's a, uh, He manages a guy named Omos that he wrestles today. And he used to be a wrestler, but something happened. Big injury, so we cannot wrestle anymore. He's a manager for other people. Thanks for watching my video. Also, send a like, and I'm hoping you're enjoying the ride.